Hi guys, my name is Urmi Damnaskar and this video is part 2 for the earlier video that I uploaded which was on MSc Cosmetic Science at the University of Sunderland. Let's start. After deciding that you want to study abroad, probably the first thing that comes to your mind would be how am I going to manage my finances. So you could take a student loan for the whole amount or use your personal savings for the whole amount or what you could do is use like a combination of both that is what i did as well so a part of my finances were through savings and the remaining was through an educational loan which i had applied via vidya lakshmi portal and this is specifically for indian students so when the loan requirement for student loan is up to 7.5 lakhs you can apply for a student loan via vidya lakshmi portal when you do that you don't have to keep anything mortgage for that loan which is I think really good. Just make sure you sort your finances very well before applying for your visa because the visa authorities really check this finances part very minutely so keep that in mind. The visa that you would get would be a tier 4 general student visa and on this visa you could work for 20 hours per week during term time which means you can work part time. If you're considering working part time might as well search for jobs which are you know related to the cosmetics industry then that would really help you later to find out full-time jobs especially if you don't have any previous experience in this field. After completing this course you will be eligible to apply for graduate route visa which is a new type of visa. This visa was introduced in 2021 and with this visa you could work in most jobs without the need of a sponsorship from an employer. I think that's really great because you know that automatically widens your job search and you could apply at all sorts of companies. The university does not provide direct placements or ready-made placements into the industry. You have to find work by yourself. And again, that being said, our program leader was very helpful with this. Whenever there were any companies that would approach her with vacancies, she would let us know and then we would give those interviews. But as I said, you could also search for work by yourself. There are platforms like LinkedIn, Glassdoor, CV Library and Indeed.com. Out of these, I think LinkedIn is probably my personal favorite because my current job as an application lab chemist, I got through LinkedIn. And I think LinkedIn is really good to also, you know, build your professional network. Glassdoor and Indeed.com are also good because you could use them for finding out more about the company because there people post anonymous reviews about the company and you could read those to get an idea of how the company actually is. For finding jobs, you could also get in contact with recruitment agents or recruitment agencies. You need to contact them via LinkedIn or through their website and they will be very happy to help you. One thing that I would like to say is that there will definitely be a lot of competition when you start applying for work because there will be a single job role and there will be 10 other people who are applying for it. So I would say don't get disheartened even if you get rejected like once, twice or even thrice. I know it's stressful and frustrating. Trust me, I've been through that as well. But you know, there's no other way to it. You have to focus and work hard and just keep on trying. What is meant for you will be with you sooner or later. So don't worry about it a lot and eventually you'll get your dream job. Both philosophy of yeah. <laughs> Now where will you stay in Sunderland? There are three university managed accommodations, Clanny House, Scotiaque and Forge Student Village. Out of these, Clanny House is the most affordable one. Even I was staying in Clanny House. In Clanny House, you get a room for yourself and the washrooms, bathrooms and the kitchen and the lounge area are shared between your flatmates. In case if the university accommodation gets full by the time you apply for it, you could always stay in private accommodations. There are many private accommodations like flat shares and house shares, also studio apartments near the city center area. You could give a quick Google search and find out about them or you could use spare room for that. University life and student life is really good at Sunderland. Unfortunately, I couldn't get to like experience that a lot because I went there in 2020 and because of COVID, everything was shut. So we couldn't get to participate in a lot of things. But now because everything has opened up, there are many extracurricular activities that keep on happening. And you could find out about that through the university's Instagram page. There are also different societies that you could be a part of. There's South Asian society, there's a K-pop society and there's also a cosmetic science society. If you're interested in sports or gym, you could also take part in that. Those facilities are available in the city campus area. You could check them out. I would really encourage every one of you who happen to like study over there to take part in all of these extracurricular activities and you know just enjoy your university life or uni life <laughs> because this one year you won't get it back. 
so just enjoy it to the fullest and make a lot of memories am i forgetting anything oh yeah i want to thank each and every one of you who has watched the other two videos i really appreciate that and thank you for all of your nice comments i read each and every one of them and it really motivates me to like keep posting and yeah thank you so much so that's all for today and if you think you got valuable information from this video make sure you like subscribe and also share it with your friends or family who would be interested in learning about this i have planned a few interesting things for the next few videos so stay tuned for that and until then 